Well, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are here for the first time or you are new to my channel, this is my daily driver. It is a 2012 Jeep Wrangler JKU and it sits on 40 inch tires and a four and a half inch lift. Now, not only is this my daily driver, I put anywhere from 12 to 15,000 miles per year on this rig, but it is also my rock crawler. And as you can see, I wheel the piss out of this thing. So about a year ago, I decided to give a new product a try. American Iron makes an incredible ball joint delete kit. And after struggling with heavy duty ball joints that just didn't seem to be up to the task of uh, you know keeping this thing on the road, I decided, what have I got to lose? We'll give the ball joint deletes a try, installed them, and I have been wheeling them and driving them on this rig for the last year or so. So today what I'm gonna do is walk you through my honest review over the last 12 months of the ball joint deletes from American Iron Off-Road. How do they perform on-road as a daily driver? And most importantly, are they strong enough to take the abuse of a Jeep on 40 inch tires that is wheeled on some of the toughest trails on the West Coast? We're gonna find out, stick around. All right, so first and foremost, this is not a sponsored video. I did not receive these ball joint deletes for free. I did pay for them with my own moolah, my own money. And I installed these just about a year ago. Uh, and uh, so yeah, no sponsorship. This is a completely unbiased review. Second of all, I cannot say enough great things about Josh down there at American Iron. He has been incredibly prompt in all of his responses, more than professional, and you can tell this is a guy who absolutely cares about his customers from all of his interactions in his Facebook page and groups uh, to making sure that everybody is 100% satisfied with this product. He has gone above and beyond, and I absolutely mean that. So huge shout out to Josh. Stand up, dude. All righty. So the first thing we need to discuss is what application are we talking about here? Well, my rig is a Jeep JK model. This is a JKU. It is sitting on Dana 44 axles. So the review that I'm doing today is for the ball joint delete kit that is designed for the Jeep JK axles, the Dana 44. Also fits in the Dana 30. They use the exact same C uh, press in. So this Jeep sits on a four and a half inch metal cloak lift. I am running 40 inch Milestar Patagonia tires. The axle is an aftermarket TerraFlex Terra 44. It is sitting in 488 gears and both axles are locked front and rear with ARB lockers. We do have 35 spline chromoly axle shafts in the rear and RCV axles in the front. My Jeep also has one ton aluminum steering in both the tie rod and drag link, and I am running hydraulic redneck ram assist to steer these giant 40 inch tires. Now I know every Jeep is built different from you know bone stock off the lot to people who build them up like this. I thought it was important for me to give you guys an idea on how my Jeep is built uh, because it might give you a better idea of exactly why I chose to go this route with the ball joint delete system. So now that we know how my Jeep is built, the next question is, well, how do I use it? Well, first and foremost, it is my daily driver. I use it for business as well, so I do have to have a very reliable vehicle and the parts that I put in it need to be reliable as well. So one of the most common complaints that I saw, um, you know, through social media and uh, just keeping track of people who have installed this kit has been that the bearings would squeak a little bit when people were making turns. Uh, there is a generation one bearing, which is the bearings that came with my kit. And now American Iron Off-Road does have a generation two bearing uh, with a much more upgraded design. So I did have the squeaking issue with mine. I did have the gen one bearings on my kit when I installed these. Um, within about a month or so, they kind of worked themselves out, maybe three weeks or so. Uh, I really kind of heard them squeak in a little bit. After that, they didn't squeak at all. Uh, once the squeaks worked themselves out and the bearings kind of worked themselves in, uh, there wasn't an issue with them. Um, recently, I changed out these, and I'm gonna show you how I did that in just a little bit. But these new Gen 2 bearings, absolutely no squeaking sound at all, straight out of the box, uh, straight from install. I've been driving around on them now for just over a month, and uh, they have been quiet as a church mouse. Check it out. So 
So I'm going to take this Jeep out on the road right now and kind of show you a little bit of the uh, driving view of how it handles and give you kind of my thoughts on it as a daily driver. And we are cruising down the road at uh, 47 miles per hour and uh, it drives great. There's absolutely no wobble. I've uh, never had death wobble the entire time that I've had these joint deletes. No wobble whatsoever. It's tight. Feels just like uh, regular brand new heavy duty ball joints as far as uh, the way that it steers. And uh, there's been no break in period on these at all. I mean, they have been perfect on return to center right out of the box. And um, no noise, no squeaking at all. It's run, running perfect. Alright, so now you guys can see how I use my Jeep most of the time. Most of the miles come on um, flat ground on the uh, pavement and the asphalt. But this Jeep obviously does get taken off road and I needed something that was going to be incredibly strong and stout. The uh, traditional heavy duty ball joints uh, were just not cutting it over the long run and having to change out ball joints every year or two was not something that I was looking forward to. So let's take a look at just how strong these ball joint deletes were on some of the toughest trails on the west coast that's a good line right there you're good you're good bingo 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 <laughs> Yeah, let's What if I uh, we put the driver up there and passenger right there? Oh yeah, I like that. Nice. Look at that. Alrighty guys, well that is just a few of the highlights of the absolute punishment 
that I put this thing through. You can check out all of the videos if you go back through my YouTube library and you will see a lot of the stuff we have done over the past 12 months. Every single one of those trail highlights absolutely was on the 40 inch tires with these ball joint deletes. And I am happy to say that I am 100% convinced that there is no better option for your Jeep than the ball joint delete system. They are every bit as strong, probably quite a bit stronger uh, than any heavy duty ball joint on the market. And the best part is it is so easy to rebuild these things. This is the bearing that comes in the rebuild kit. I purchased the rebuild kit uh, so that I could swap these out. Now there's nothing wrong with these bearings right now. The uh, Jeep was doing just fine. Um, no death wobble, no shimmy, no noise. Nothing seemed loose at all. Everything was nice and tight. So the bearings were still in great shape, but because I love you guys so much, I spent my hard earned money and I bought a brand new rebuild kit just for this video so that I could show you how easy it is to swap these out. The bearings that are going in are the brand new Gen 2 bearings and um, I am very excited to show you guys just how easy it is to put these suckers in. And we've got our uh, rebuild kit here and this comes of course with uh, everything you need to rebuild these. Got four brand new bearings uh, of course inside here. All your nuts, all your uh, washers and shims, all your uh, rubber o-rings, of course new nuts and uh, everything should be ready to go. Alrighty, well, first thing we need to do is uh, get these snap rings out of here. Not too difficult to job. So we're gonna pull those out and then we're gonna take this old bearing out and replace it with a freshie. All right, so if you have a handy dandy snap ring pliers, that'll make this easier. Um, I do not have one, so took an angle grinder and uh, made some little sharp edges on this. And so we'll just stick this guy in right there. We'll grab our snap ring and pop that bad boy out. All right, so I'm doing this uh, the cheap and easy way. 18 millimeter deep well. Just stick it right there over the, over the bearing. And give it a few taps. Until she's out and it's that easy you guys of course before you put the new bearing in I'm gonna give this nice little clean out make sure no debris or anything in there should be nice and clean wipe off our our bearing here too make sure that's nice and clean our new bearing and of course we're gonna give it a little spot right there and we will tap it back down there's a 24 oh 24 is perfect all right so such a 24 tap your new bearing back down there yep not feeling any movement so that is in all the way once again 24 millimeter that's the way to go gonna put our snap ring back in there and then uh, just reassemble it okay moving to the bottom one obviously it's just a little bit more difficult because you're working from the bottom but not a huge deal same thing you're gonna pop out the uh, snap ring here and then we're gonna tap this guy out replace it with a brand new one so we're gonna use our 18 millimeter to tap it out. At least that's what I'm doing. Ta-da! There we go. All right, of course there's the old bearing. We're gonna put in a brand new one, tap it back in, clean that out first. Nice clean out, rid of all the gunk, rid it of all debris. All right, slide this guy in here. Let's make sure it's going in nice and straight.
Alrighty, next thing you're gonna do, get your new snap ring. Use your special tool if you need one. There we go. Make sure it's seated, which it is. Boom. That's it, freshly rebuilt. Slap it back together using the original install instructions. Alrighty guys, so my final thoughts are as follows. Um, for me and the way that I drive my Jeep, there really is no better option. I mean, these ball joint deletes are so easy to maintain. Um, you don't have to worry about pressing in and pressing out ball joints when they go bad. For me, that is absolutely a huge reason to invest in these. Uh, second of all, they're incredibly strong. I don't think there's a ball joint on the market that could even possibly come close to touching how strong these things are. I mean, you've seen me in action absolutely abusing these things on 40 inch tires on a Dana 44 axle, Dana 44 Cs. I mean, <laughs> If you could really put these things through any more abuse, I challenge you to try. And of course, the biggest benefit is just how tempered these things are on a daily driven Jeep. I mean, you could get in this thing and drive it all around town and you would never know I was running an aftermarket ball joint delete system. Um, it runs and drives exactly as it did with the stock steering and the stock, um, stock ball joints, but it's just so much better now. So. Blue Bacon approved, and I am so glad that I made the jump. And uh, yeah, no more worn out ball joints. Well guys, that's it. I've been so excited to make this video and happy to share with you the results of these ball joint deletes. If you are not a subscriber, I invite you to please hit that subscribe button and hit the uh, like. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It does wonders for me and my channel and helps, me, uh, helps to support me in the content that I'm creating and that I can bring more amazing stuff out to you guys. So once again, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.